Now this is really something cool. Uh, you may recall that when I was in Broken Bow, I was talking about the uh, Thunderbolt Tornado uh -huh. Siren uh -huh. in well, Broken this, Bow. On this, this box is, right to your yeah. left here, this is a Thunderbolt uh, box right here. Really? Yeah. This right there's here. There's two of them. That's there's, just Thunderbolt. There's one here. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, one here. Now, this one doesn't say Thunderbolt on it, but it's got the Civil Defense insignia. Yeah, over here. Right to the left here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. That's cool. Oh, yeah. It's, it's got a little tag there. Tag right there. With right the there. Civil, that, that's, civil Defense that, insignia. That's, that's a good picture right there. You're recording it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then this one over here. That has a tag on the bottom there also. It says Thunderbolt. Yes, that says Thunderbolt. That's cool. Registered U.S. trademark, uh, yeah. Federal Signal Corporation. Yes. Yep. And these are old boxes. But um, Broken Bow has a Thunderbolt siren, which is a single horn on a oh. pole. It's a big yellow horn that rotates. And they have a box that sits on the ground that's a big yellow blower. And they have a uh, PVC line running up the horn, or right? running up the pole to the horn. Yeah, which supplies air to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's air driven. Mm hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Now this I'm about to show you guys for all you YouTubers out there, maybe watching my channel. This is really cool. I've been I've been really fascinated with these since I was a kid. I love the sound of a Federal Signal 2T22. And we have a cord hanging right here. Yeah, that's uh, that's coming out of this uh, garage over here. It okay. belongs to uh, apparently it's in it's it's capped off. It's taped and capped off. Yeah. But it, uh, yeah, it comes out of that. Uh, now this garage that's uh, to your right, mm -hmm. there's a, it's a, it belongs to uh, the bank. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna back up a little ways and sure. Let's see if I can shoot up at the horns here. The you siren. Am I aimed at it? You'll have to look. Uh, let's see. Let me see your. Okay. Let me see your. Mm -hmm. <sighs> right there. Right there, that's the 2T22. Yes, sir. Yep, and that's an old Cold War relic for all you YouTubers out there that will be watching this. And at noon, they sound this for the noon whistle. It goes off at six, it goes off at 10 o'clock. 12. Uh, noon. Noon. And yeah. one and to one. signify the lunch hour. Yep. And then again and then at six to six. signify the end of the shift. Mm -hmm. And then it goes off at 10 o'clock at night, doesn't it? No, 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 no okay. sir. No, sir. All right. Oh, that must be, uh, I'm thinking maybe Comstock's that goes off at 10, but. Is that right? Yeah. That's great. Sergeant, Sergeant doesn't have one of these sirens, but it does, it does go off at 10. But yeah, this is the, this is the front of that old box right here that's sealed up and everything. So that's what it looks like here. You have double doors. Yeah, it has double this doors. is the, this is the relay system for that. Now this siren, believe it or not, and this is something else I want to show you. This is a close-up of something really cool. You can see the little insignia on that. But this, this little thing right here is a radio receiver, okay? On top here, you see this little thing right there? That's an antenna. That is what receives the signal from, like if dispatch sets this off, Custer County Dispatch, they'll set off the sirens by radio signal from their computer. It receives the signal and triggers that siren. That's incredible. It's all done wireless now. It's really neat because it used to be that somebody would have probably had to come out here if there was a tornado, get in here, flip the switch, sound the siren. But now it could be sounded off at the dispatch automatically by radio signal. Yeah, and that's in case of a tornado. Mm-hmm, or a fire call. I think right. they use this thing for fire, don't they? Oh, yes, Whales. oh, yes, oh, yes. Yeah. Fire and, and tornado. You're yeah. Right. Now that... I don't know if this is a 2T22. It might be a 3T22. I don't know, but the 3T22 would have solenoid shutters on it that would alternate over the horns when it reaches its top pitch. So it'd go in an alternating tone, and then it would wind back down with both tones going. That was what they would do for the fire call. Oh. Mm hmm. So I don't know if this. Oh. I've heard that. We got a train coming. Oh yeah. I hear the train a coming. <laughs> coming down the track. It's it. I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when, but I'm stuck in Folsom prison. <laughs> yep, I'm a 
I'm an amateur <laughs> musician too. I I play the guitar. Outstanding. Yeah, a friend of mine. And what'd you say? You're Joe, right? My name is Joe Miller. Yes, Joe sir. Miller. Yes, sir. Well, thank you for helping me aim at the two T twenty two and <laughs> all this gadgetry here. Yes. And uh, my friend Jill Davis works at the uh, bar over here. Oh, at the KOs? Yeah. Uh-huh. Just wondering if you could... Uh... Later, we will come back to the 2T22, and we'll talk about the sound effects that I record, and you'll see me setting up my recording equipment beneath the siren as I prepare for this thing to go off. But, uh... I thought I'd show you something that is really neat. I didn't expect this. But uh, it was later in the afternoon, and Joe said, I think I have something that you might want to check out. He said, you want to see what's in this cool building? I said, sure. And so we walked next door to the insurance business, and uh, he took me into the building that he owns, which is uh, an antique store. And so what we're going to do now Let's go take a look at Joe's building and the things that he collects and his most prized possession. Or, as I like to think of it, his most prized possession. He's very proud of what his father had built. And I am too, that thing is awesome. So here we go. <laughs> 